Morning Church family. Uh, I pray all is well, and this video finds you and your family uh, safe and healthy. Um, for today's moment of hope, I wanted to share a little bit from the topic of real love. Uh, 1 John 3, uh, 16 through 18 reminds us, uh, and it says, We know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. If someone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Dear children, let's not merely say that we love each other. Let us show the truth by our actions. Over the last few months, I have thought and spoken the word love thousands of times. On March 8, 2014, my wife and I met our firstborn child, Ailey Elizabeth Grace, and she immediately captured our hearts. It was truly love at first sight. After she was born, Ailey was taken, uh, unfortunately, to the NICU because she only weighed four pounds. At that time, I felt shock and concern, but above all, I felt love. I had just watched my wife, Alicia, labor through the night, seen my daughter take her first breath. My heart was filled with love. We were then met with the same type of expression of love on February 24th, 2017, when our second child, Adelie Faith, was born. Fast forward to July 10th, that's coming up here soon, uh, in the next few months, when Alicia and I will celebrate uh, our 16 year wedding anniversary. anniversary. As I think about exchanging vows on our wedding day, my heart is full of love once again. There are so many ways I express love for my wife. We place love notes in each other's lunch bags, hold hands, pray together, hug and kiss one another, share encouraging words, and make sacrifices for each other on a daily basis. We want to make sure that the other feels loved. As much as I love my wife and daughters, I know that Jesus loves them more. This passage from 1 John 3 reminds us what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us. Jesus is our example. And this scripture directs us to give up our lives, show compassion, and act in love. My love for my wife gave me the courage to ask for her hand in marriage. My wife's love for our daughter gave her the strength to endure childbirth. Jesus' love for us enabled him to endure the cross. His perfect love teaches me how to love my family, friends, and my neighbor. Loving our neighbors like Jesus loves us is what we do as believers. We want them to experience the love of Jesus too. Verse 18 challenges us not to just say we love them, but to show we love them through our actions. Jesus demonstrates his love for us and his love is unconditional without boundaries full of grace and mercy. We stand in the gap so others will have the opportunity to know this real love that Jesus offers. So I just wanted to encourage y'all with that. I wanted to remind us what true love is as we have uh, celebrated Easter and, uh, and what Jesus did for us on the cross. And um, uh, let us not forget that, but then let us also extend that love to our neighbors and those around us. Uh, continued prayers for you and your families. Uh, and I pray that we uh, can gather again here soon. Uh, but until then, I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. I miss y'all. And uh, looking forward to the day that we can uh, gather together in person at church. Love y'all.